Time now for this week's Ask Kelly segment, and today's question comes from Skyler at Hempfield. I was at Kennywood, and I rode the racer twice, and I finished on the opposite side than the one I started. How was that possible? It really is one of the great mysteries of Kennywood, but let's go ahead and tap the experts to figure out how this phenomenon happens. All clear. Have a great race. It is a mystery as old as the racer itself. And that's pretty old. In April of this year, the racer at Kennywood turned 95. But the great switch leaves riders mystified to this day. I was on the right side when I started and left when I ended. So how did that happen? I don't know. I didn't see us like switch tracks, but like somehow we went on, we were started on the left side and ended up on the right. Say bye, here we go. This group was visiting Kennywood from Phoenix. The kids were first time riders, but even mom couldn't figure it out. No, all of a sudden you're on one side and then you're on the other without ever switching. Mystery? It's a mystery. I don't know how it happens. Yeah. Ride with me? Yeah. Are you okay with the front seat? Yeah. All right. Little Lacey here volunteered to ride with me to see if we could figure it out. It's easier for the kids to get in this. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze. A few struggles later and we're set. We're in. Got this. Here we go, down the left side of the platform. We climb 72 feet, eight inches, then endure the competitive turns and twisting drops, which includes a 43 foot, six inch plunge. After 2,250 feet of track, we return to the platform on the right side. Let's see what Lacey determined. One part when we went on the turn, we at one point went kind of like this but also to where you couldn't really see it, so we just switched tracks. When I pressed her further about the tracks switching, I realized we may want to consult with a different kind of expert. I wasn't really paying attention because I had my eyes closed. Okay, let's go with Marie Ruby. With over three decades of experience at the park, she is Director of Operations for Kennywood. Yes, everybody always asks the question, where does it switch? And the right. truth is, it doesn't. All right, so explain that to us. Well, it's one continuous track. So in order to ride the entire racer, you'd have to ride it twice in a row. Still confused? Let's get the whole picture. We sent Sky Forward Action Cam to get this overhead view of the track. The two places where you start on the inside of the track and end up on the outside is over the station and at the back circle. And those figure eights allow for the illusion that you switch tracks, but in reality, you've only experienced half the track. If you picture a necklace, so a continuous circle, and when you're in the station, you're at either end of that necklace. So that's where you start. So when you end up back in the station, you're just on the flip side of that place that you started from. This magic is now unique only to Kennywood. The racer is the last remaining continuous track racing coaster of its kind in the world. But for many of the younger riders, the racer may as well be new. They still can't figure it out. They came up on us, but I feel like we went into their lane while they were like farther behind. On the turns, it moves you to a different side. I love that story so much. Those kids were great. And as for the future of the racer, Marie says that they are trying their best to preserve it for many generations to come. The wood, they say, is replaced a few sections at a time every year. After about five years, the whole thing is new. And in fact, this off season, Kennywood is also giving it a whole new paint job. It's still going to be the same color, but it'll be fresh paint. Finally, the other common question about the racer, how is it determined which train wins? When both trains are dispatched at the same time, the train carrying more weight will pick up more speed down the first hill and they will win. There you go. If you have a question I can be answered for you, let me know. You can leave me a voice message at the number here on your screen, 412-244-4610, or you can jump straight in, send me a video message. You can share that with me in a Facebook message or by emailing askkelly at hearst.com.